Hi, my name is Arundhati and today we are going to talk about the film Ye Vellem and we have with us the director of the film Sony and the producer of the film Siddharth Roy Kapoor. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. I think the best part of the of the of the story that I find is uh, you know it is not just another slum story. What was the intriguing point for you to tell the story? Um I wanted to do much more than the documentary could do. The documentary was only 14 minutes and there's mm. only so much you can say in 14 minutes. So I wanted to expand it and uh bring all the skills I've learned as a screenwriter for the past 30 odd years. to this film so that i could engage an audience emotionally using all the tricks of the trade i've learned as a screenwriter so mm. that was and i wanted to bring the story to a wide audience which netflix is allowing me to do because we release in 190 countries on the same day mm. it's a film that celebrates talent mm. it's a film that says there's so much talent in india but it's unrecognized That's true. and so it's about dreams and about dreaming no matter where you come from mm. as the trailer says your dreams don't know where you come from and uh, when when do you come on board and so i read about the uh, the boys actually in an article in the sunday midday about the boys and their teacher and then when we dug a little bit deeper we found out that suni had already made a vr documentary on them huh. and suni and i have collaborated on the namesake in the past and yes. we've stayed in touch over the years yes. and i've been a great admirer of her work and so i got in touch with her and uh, asked her if she'd like to make a feature film on you know the subject and she said she would and that's where the journey began right right that's that's so interesting so uh, you know when you are elaborating a story what are the things that you got a chance to explore in the sense and was it a little more challenging because you know at times telling the story like you know in a in a short format creates like a little more impact than probably so how how did you Well actually for me I have always written feature films That's so not. the 40 minute documentary was actually, out of my comfort zone so making it a feature film and writing a feature film script was not difficult for me and of uh, a, a script the way I write scripts it's a process that you know organically changes from why did you feel that this story was important to tell you know it's a, at at its heart it's a story about hope about aspiration about not letting your circumstances dictate how far you can go and what you can do mm. and i think that is so universal and so resonant around the world that doesn't have to be restricted to any particular culture any particular country it's a it's something that any human being can really relate to and i felt that the added to that it's such an entertaining story as well because there are ups and downs there are twists and turns it's not just about it's sure it's about hope and aspiration but it's the way that suni told it it was told so entertainingly and so yeah. engagingly too yeah. so i felt that this was not a story that anyone would not be able to relate to yeah. because it talks about being able to overcome yeah. all the obstacles around you yeah. and be able to pursue a dream right right uh the, there's this one line of course i have to talk about it because uh, the father says that you know uh, you are a, being a muslim you are not supposed to be participating in a in a in a festival which is of hindus and we always talk about how culture and music and dance has the power to you know unite people uh, how did you did was there like very conscious decision of yours to celebrate that part or that thought in the in the Yes absolutely because for me this city is one of tremendous diversity and that it's its unique selling point and I've grown up in the city and I've gone to school with uh, girls who were from every religion mm. from every community and that's the spirit I wanted to celebrate and we've done it but not a, in an in your face way in a by the way kind of way so it's it's more subtle but it's there you know I'm a Parsi I, I'm a minority but uh, india has completely embraced its minorities traditionally so i wanted to celebrate that feeling i think what's beautiful is the line that comes after that which which he which he says back which is that blood is not saffron or green yeah. right yeah. and that i think is what really the film is not trying to say that overtly hmm. but i think the beauty is bombay is such a melting pot of religions and cultures and languages and all kinds of people and i think the film really celebrates that and you know uh, the the film happens to be the story of a muslim boy and a hindu boy mm. and they're being coached by a jewish teacher yeah uh, and i i i think that's beautiful because that that comes from reality and that's what the city is all about 
I have to ask you this question because uh, yesterday only I was talking to Gunit and uh, considering the fact that she is one of the you know Oscar winning short filmmaker and uh, when I was telling her that you know what happened because we are send we are making good films we are sending it right and Indians are lasting over Oscar right literally uh, and then it it doesn't happen in the in the final round what what is happening so she said ki uh, know the lasting over Oscar won't help an American distributor might just uh, tell me, uh, both of you, like because you have you have observing the business so closely, right? You have literally seen how Oscar works, an American award show works. What are the things? What are the missing link that we need to work on? I want to. Sure. Should I go? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I you see there are two aspects to it, right? One aspect is that we are a country that should celebrate our own popular culture and not need validation from anyone to tell us that we're good. Right? We make cinema, we enjoy our cinema, we have songs and dances in it, we have an interval, we make longer movies, uh, we make movies that are a bit like a thali, you've got uh, romance and drama and, in, and you know, like sort of comedy all, all within one film. That's not the grammar of filmmaking in the West, right? But we also have a massive population of people who enjoy our cinema. So I think one is that we should embrace that. When it comes to the Oscars, I think increasingly we are making the kind of films that might work there in terms of them being able to understand that these are films that are not formulaic, typical, kitschy Bollywood as they would look at it. Um, sometimes the selection of the films that we send there are not quite appropriate. Uh, I remember the year when The Lunchbox was a film that could have been nominated but we didn't send it from our side to the Academy and then you know unfortunately that had local distribution like Gunit said that's one of the films that she produced and we uh, helped uh, her to like actually distribute in India. Yeah, uh, so the selection that we put out there sometimes is not the kind of films that uh, might resonate with the Academy. It's a combination of both things. But I think increasingly it will happen organically if we make movies that are authentic to our culture. You know, we went to the Academy Awards in 1988. At that time, nobody in India cared. Nobody in India knew. We did not even get a single telegram of congratulations from the Indian government or anyone. You're it talking about Salam Bombay, yeah, yeah. Ceremony used to be broadcast early in the morning on Doordarshan. Nobody knew, nobody cared. So from that time to now, I've seen this huge jump from not caring to like, as you said, lusting over Oscar, <laughs> which, is, which is a bit strange. My feeling is that we don't have a good base of indie cinema. Okay. When you see Oscar nominated films, they come from countries that have had a very strong tradition of making indie cinema. We do have indie cinema, but we don't have such a long tradition of it. And I think once that picks up, we will see maybe. That's my, my take on it. Because here it's still a struggle to make a film without stars. You know, so. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.